endometriosis. It's time that we find out what the cause is. And it's so frustrating because the cause is so simple and it's so misunderstood. We have had hundreds of patients with two popular conditions, endometriosis and polycystic ovary syndrome. Anytime you hear syndrome, get scared because that means that it's, it's from some supposedly unknown cause. Poly means many. Cyst means little tiny balls of the body walling off toxins or pathogens. Uh, ovary means they're around the ovary. Syndromes means they don't have a clue. Well, let me tell you, 100% of the time in polycystic ovary syndrome, and they say this is going to prevent you from getting pregnant, uh, it's from fast food or toxic environmental exposure. So when you look at this, clean up the diet radically. Okay, that means nothing but organic, nothing but healthy food, no fast food, no genetically modified food, no toxins. That's gonna make a huge difference in the polycystic ovary syndrome. But also you need to have a healthy nerve supply. The nerves in the pelvic area, if those are compromised, then you're gonna have an unhealthy function of the organ systems in there, such as the ovaries, the uterus, the fallopian tubes. Now I wanna explain what endometriosis is. And this isn't just for the women that have it or the women who friends have had it, it's for the doctors to explain it. This isn't a, a magical condition. So I have this very technical drawing here. And you can see, this is gonna be the uterus. Off the uterus are these tubes called fallopian tubes. And just hanging in the air, and you'll see at the end of the fallopian tubes, they're called fimbri or fingers. Then there's an, an ovary here. Now the egg actually bursts out of the ovary and is sucked into the fallopian tubes because there's small hair, tube, hair cells in there. And those hair cells are creating a negative pressure, almost a vacuum-like pressure flowing this in or sucking that egg in. Now fertilization typically pl takes place in the fallopian tube and then it implants in the endometrium and that's the lining of the uterus. Now what happens, and that's normal, if fertilization doesn't take place, that uterus contracts and expels the menses out, okay, or that endometrial layer. Now endometriosis, imagine this, if those hair cells are not working because you have a compromised nerve supply from an unstable pelvis or a low back issue, if you contract this uterus, instead of the endometrium going out the outdoor, okay, it's gonna form a mass where it's gonna come out here and form a mass or have a condition of, which means osis, of the endometrial lining out here. So that's called endometriosis. So what endometriosis is, is that endothelial lining or endometrial lining out here going out of the fallopian tube. So that means that uterus contracts and instead of having those hair cells constantly creating a pressure, that endometrium goes outside and forms a mass. So what does endometriosis come from? It comes from lack of function of the hair cells in the fallopian tube creating a positive pressure. It comes from a pinched nerve or subluxation in the sacrum or low back. This is no mystery. Find the source of this. Get to a corrective chiropractor. Now, one of the other things that are gonna be common in endometriosis, because if those nerves are compromised that supply the pelvic floor, guess what else they supply? They supply the feet. So typically we're gonna see flattening of the feet or bunion formation of the feet because those nerves that supply that pelvic floor may also supply the legs, the calf, we'll see calf swelling, all of that. Get to a corrective chiropractor, have the nervous system checked first, clean up the diet second, restore the normal biomechanics, and hey, gals, if you wanna have the babies, now you'll be able to. Get out there and enjoy it. For more information, check out our women's health video and um, realize that health is your natural state. See you there.